Market Square is a popular tourist destination and it is located in the heart of Cape Town, just off well-known Long Street. The square was built in 1696. The square developed naturally as the venue for the sale of fresh produce from the garden and surrounding farms. The sale of other goods and services, including the sale of slaves, followed shortly after. I'm standing here in front of Green Market Square in Cape Town. It's one of the oldest uh, markets in Cape Town in South Africa, probably in Africa. I've been staying here at the Anima Hotel in front of Green Market Square for two months now. I've been doing music gigs here twice, sometimes three times a week. And uh, yeah, you can actually get me to come and play in your town. Just invite me. I'll come do some music gigs and some vlogs. But anyway, I'm going to try and show you a bit of Green Market Square. The reason why I say I'm going to try is because, especially in this market, people don't like it when you video them. And the only reason being is I like to hassle tourists and I hope, they're hoping like they're gonna hassle a bit of money from you which is kind of me uh, not the best way of thinking about things because I think it's short-sighted so they hassle you and I think they're gonna get money from you but all they're doing is, is chasing you away and also chasing away some publicity because they're making a vlog of you about your place man so I don't know how it's gonna go let's see what I say I'm gonna ask politely if I can record the the stalls and the vibe and uh, hopefully we won't get chased away or or moored or something you know <laughs> let's go let's see so yeah you are in this in this shop you got acrylic painting and boy painting and you got three styles of art you got the one over there painted using the knife, you got the lions and the elephant painted using the knife. And the other ones, you got the brush art, you got the big size, the medium and the smaller sizes as you can see. So yeah, you got landscape, figures and uh, animals. You got the big five, you got Mama Africa and the Maasai, the tallest people in Africa. Uh, you also got the townships, with Chebo Mountain and the, the Nyanga, Langa, Kalicha townships here. So yeah, you got a variety of art. What's your name, sir? My name is, my name is Limba. I'm the artist. I'm uh, Ibra. And you from? I'm from Cameroon. Cameroon. So you guys are from all over the place. Huh? Yeah. Like family. a family. Yeah, maybe a family. Yeah. Uh, I'm from East Africa. East Africa. The country is Kenya. From Mombasa, Kenya. The coast of Kenya. Yeah. This is my job. I'm doing a beach work always, all my life. I'm doing this work. How long now? I, more than 30 years because I started when I was very small, like seven years I started to, to make this thing. Where, who learned you? Who taught you? Uh, there was my elders, my uh, big brother, my siblings, they were doing this. They were doing this work. So they helped me to learn. I started to make this. The bracelet. This one is, was the first one to try to make like this Kenyan bracelet. We used to start with this one. So slowly, slowly, until I make other things now. So you're like a master now. Huh? You're like a master now. You know what to do. Yeah. Hey, not yours. Not me. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Jamali Mot. Oh man, and tell me, Green Market Square is it a good place to try to This is a good place. This one is an international, good place. Clean, security number one. People, they are good. This is 
Simba, I know Simba. What's up? Where are you from, Simba? Me, from Zim. My name is Mas Baba. Where are you from? Zimbabwe. Tell me about your, your work here. There are so many different types of stones that I have here. I do have vedite, butter jet, spring stone, cobalt, opal, and etc. Et Firstly, it's a rock like this. This is the outer of it. This is the outer of it. Before carved, it looks like this one. So when I carve it, this is when, how it is. And it's one piece of rock. This one, this is what we call leopard rock. It's found in eastern islands of Zimbabwe, closer to Mozambique. The name leopard rock came from the name of the famous hotel called Leopard Rock Hotel, closer to Fumba, when you're going to Mozambique. And this one, we call this one cobalt. It's near, this is near Kwekwe, in the Midlands province. Same like this one also, from Kwekwe, Midlands province. And the black one, this black one, we call it spring store. We find this one in Mutoko, closer to Mozambique and border when going to Malawi. This one called spring store. So all this comes from Zimbabwe? Everything is from Zimbabwe, and I am the artist of all this. My name is Gift. Where are you from Gift? From Malawi. Uh, tell me, where Malawi exactly? Uh, Balaka, you know Balaka? No, but I want to go. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just maintaining these animals, as you see. You make these? Yes, I make, but uh, it went block, so uh, but, uh, I want to make it to be like the way at the first. What, what wood is this? This one is... Uh, Quite a uh, boat. And uh, did you bring it from Malawi, the wood? No, here in South Africa. In Kenya? Um, Malanga, yes. And how long does it take you to make an animal like that? Yes. How, how long does it take to make an animal? Like uh, this size? Yeah. Three days. Three days. Yes. Three days of hard work. Yes, three days. And this small ones with some hippo here. This one is. It takes uh, like uh, two days. stuff and beautiful stuff. Where is it from? Me are from here. And the stuff? All over? All over, roughly. Those are from Congo, other from Malawi, Zambia. Yeah. How long have you had a shop here? Almost four years I was here. What's your name? My name is Tape. Cool, bro. It's a nice day today, so it's sunny and it's not too hot. It's still the start of the season and summer here in Cape Town. 
and it's very pleasant to walk here today because it's kind of shady the whole area and it's like nooks and crannies and very colorful and uh, in general today everybody's very friendly and so it's cool it's a very relaxed atmosphere walking between the stores checking out all the colorful things and usually you can haggle for price and there's people from, from all over and it's, yeah, it's fun how long have you had the store? Uh, 22 years 22 years yeah this place yes wow the same place no sometimes they always change us wow that's long man mm. amazing so that lady has been there or not there but in the market for 22 years so people are building careers here this is my friend somebody in the back and uh, yeah it's all careers they're building here so it's quite involved there's one lady here that's been here for 35 years and I asked her can I speak to her but she's too shy which is cool but uh, yeah people build their lives and they feed their families from these stalls you know so when I was younger it was a lot different um, it was a well that was in the days of apartheid so obviously it was different but it was more kind of a European obviously but also more a multi international type of vibe a totally different cosmopolitan type of vibe and lots of different stuff like book old hippie booksellers and he had musicians playing here which doesn't happen unfortunately so you had all kinds of it was a completely different atmosphere now it's all totally Africanized and Basically, the markets all over Africa look more or less the same, to be honest. It's more or less the same product. So, it's a little bit less of that uh, international flavor of more unique things and live performances. That doesn't really happen any longer, which is sad. But, you know, it's, I suppose this is the way it was going to happen anyway, politically. And these people are making their lives here. They're feeding their families, like I say. So, yeah. There's always different sides to a story. So yeah, everybody needs to live, eh? And this is Africa, after all. Tell me, what is this thing in your head? This is the Zulu headband. Okay. Yeah. Who wears that? The King Zulu. So when you... he was have a ceremony. So if you wear it, it's like a crown. Sorry? It's like a crown. Yeah. So you're a king? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so if you wear that, you become a king. So, yeah. Let's say, how's it, bro? Tell me about yourself, who are you? Yeah, I mean, uh, my name is Gift. Gift, where are you from, bro? Me from Malawi. Also from Malawi? Yeah, me from Malawi. And what's your story, bro? Yeah. What's your story? Ah, story, yeah. Just greet, yeah. You're really greet. <laughs> Why Malawi is always so friendly? They're always so happy. I love Malawi. I've been there. I go there. Yeah, I love because it. our country is peaceful. We don't have any trouble. What the only money? <laughs> Very peaceful. Problem is money. Yeah. No, there's no money. No, we stay free. You if can there's no away. money. There's no trouble. You know. <laughs> 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 right in the center of Cape Town and uh, you'll see people sitting outside having a, a beer or whatever and it's uh, quite a vibe the gig a bit later tonight in the hotel but um, I think I'm gonna have a beer here at one of the places next to the square you can buy a nice large beers here for quite cheap cheaper than a lot of other places in Cape Town and it's a cool vibe and I, I love these places uh, the Shibin type of places the African bars with the African people on a sunny day all over Africa it's usually a good vibe and, uh, and they're a lot cheaper like I say so definitely my type of places Guys like DJ run into. How's it guys? 
Go on, just doing a little bit of a YouTube video. We're gonna have a beer here. Uh, I'm just getting a rest here. You can't take a camera in these places because, especially here in the towns, everybody just go crazy. But they, because they want free beer, free money, and it's really sad because I just want to show you guys the place and the vibe. But people just start going ballistic, especially when I had a few on my legs in, and I all want the free beer. And I said, well, I'm not paying you. If I have to pay everybody or buy everybody a beer for every bit of video I take, I'll be bankrupt in a week. No, I'm bankrupt anyway, but uh, you know what I'm saying, so that's pretty sad, so it's restricted where I can go, because people get unhappy. And I keep on harping about this when I video here in Africa, but it's the truth, and uh, I don't know why, it's so silly, you know, the jeepers, man. So as you can see, there's a police van here, so how secure is it in central Cape Town? Well, there's security guards everywhere, and there are police cars here, yeah, police in the center of town. They're trying to keep it safe, but doing a pretty good job. Uh, but you will get pickpocketed if you're not, if you're not wakey wakey. And I've had a few people before trying to pickpocket my phone, so you have to be awake. There are people here that will steal from you, opportunists like any city in the world, but in general. Cape Town CBD is pretty safe and it's pretty okay to come here and to shop but just check your phone and check your stuff like anywhere else, don't be stupid. Uh, this is one trick people come and they hold a bag, a backpack in their hand like this and they approach you like this as if they want to sell you this bag. If that happens to you, no, that guy wants to rob you. There's another guy just behind him that you're not seeing and when he gets the bag close to you, he will put his other hand in your pocket and take your phone and his friend will distract you. So that's one trick that's very common here. It's happened to me a couple of times. So be aware. But uh, in general, Cape Town, it's pretty cool. If you go up there, you get to Long Street. It's just above your iconic street in Cape Town. These guys are going to pack up and take it all to storage. Yeah, a bit too busy. It was a bit quiet. It's okay for me.